the small island state of Malta, with approximately 400,000 inhabitants and the size of the Gaza Strip, has had a turbulent history. The British may have ruled Malta for 150 years. The Order of Saint John, however, shaped the islands. Expelled from Rhodes, the order found a new home here in 1530. Grand Master La Valette immediately expanded the fortifications at St. Angelo, St. Elmo and St. Michael. The order was a thorn in Sultan Suleiman's flesh already for some time. Therefore, the Ottoman fleet, with 40,000 men, set sail to Malta in 1565. Although St. Elmo was captured after five horrible weeks, St. Angelo and St. Michael held out against the assaults, however, and forced the Ottomans to retreat after having lost three quarters of their army. The Auberge de Castille, today the Prime Minister's seat. The surprisingly unpretentious Grand Master's Palace. The corridor with brazen guards leads to staterooms. The armory was once equipped for 60,000 men. Following the death of a knight, his armory was always handed to the order. The equally unpretentious facade of St. John's Co-Cathedral unfolds its splendor when inside. The arched ceiling above the main altar shows scenes from the life of John the Baptist. The archaeological museum with treasures from six millennia, such as the Sleeping Lady or the Six Fat Ladies. A water taxi brings us across the Grand Harbour, passing Vedette, the little guardhouse, and via the Dockyard Creek to the Maritime Museum, the former naval bakery for the British fleet. Model ships illustrate Malta's maritime history since antiquity. Not far from here, is the entrance to the subterranean Hippogeum. Thousands of human bones point to a burial place. The dome of the Carmelite church marks the city's skyline. A white mushroom spans Hajjaim. The Neolithic temple contains six sacred rooms. The stones of prayer Silent witnesses of rituals and sacrifices are more than 5,000 years old. A pillared altar with fern pattern. After the rupture of the connection to Sicily and the buckling of the island's plinth, the dingy cliffs rose from the sea. Emdina the former capital of Malta. Before reaching the Carmelite convent, the street opens to a square with the Cathedral of St. Peter and Paul. Gozzo's ferry port, Imja. Gozzo is more green and fertile. The 5,600-year-old temple of Chiganthia consists of two units. In the south temple stands a duplex altar for sacrifices. Already, Phoenicians fortified the crag, now carrying the citadel and cathedral of today's Victoria. St. Mary's Church has existed for over 300 years. An illusionistic arch painting gives the illusion of a cupola. 
rising from the swell is Fungus Rock, guarded by the Dwera Tower to protect the endemic Malta fungus. Also here, Godso's icon, the azure window, lifts up from the surf. It is a geological residue from collapsed caves. Godso's northern coastline, with rock-cut salt pans, huge petrified dunes, and the striking Cola El Baida as a backdrop, appears exotic. On parting, the area of Obaija shows up to the best advantage.